Hi, welcome to EPG Patshala Spanish. I am Rajiv Saxena and I teach Spanish in the Center of Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and Latin American Studies in the Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. We are in the paper entitled Intermediate Grammar and this module is titled Infinitive and its Expressions Part 2. Why? Because in part 1 also we have done the same thing. In previous modules we have studied how infinitive is used with different expressions and is a unique feature of the Spanish grammar. In this module you will study the use of infinitives and its various applications in relation to some other expressions used in the Spanish language. By now you know that the basic non-conjugated form of a Spanish verb is called an infinitive. You probably already spent a great deal of time learning how to conjugate infinitives or change them so that they agree with their subjects. But we don't always conjugate our infinitives. I repeat, we already know several basic non-conjugated forms of a Spanish verb which is called an infinitive. You've already learned a great deal of time and you have spent a lot of time to conjugate infinitives or to change them so that they agree with the subjects. But we don't always conjugate our infinitives. There is a wide variety of non-verb situations in which we leave the infinitive unchanged. So, first of all, just a quick reminder. Any verb that has a subject must be conjugated. So, yo leo el periódico, not yo leer el periódico. Yo leo el periódico. I read the newspaper. Yo leo el periódico. Agree with yo. When we want to use a verb as a noun in English, we use the gerund or the ing form instead of verb, like walking, talking, sleeping, hablando, comiendo, durmiendo. We do not do this in Spanish. Instead of a gerund, we just use the infinitive. Resist the urge to use the present participle, ando or yendo form of the verb. So please remember, that in English, we use the gerund or the ing form of the verb. This is not done in Spanish. Instead of a gerund, we just use the infinitive and you please do not use the present participle ando or yendo for the verb. Jugar basketball es muy divertido. Playing basketball is fun. El leer es interesante. Reading is interesting. So, the ing of playing basketball or ing of reading is changed in Spanish and it is replaced by an infinitive. Jugar basketball es muy divertido. El leer es interesante. It may not look close since they come later in the sentence. But infinitives used with the verbs like gustar are actually subjects too. Me gustan nadar y patinar sobre hielo. I like to swim and ice skate. Or swimming and ice skating please me. Me gustan nadar y patinar sobre hielo. A Elia le fascina cocinar. Cooking fascinates her. So, the cooking is replaced by cocinar, nadar and patinar, swimming and ice skating. What's an object of a verb? It's a fancy way of describing an infinitive that comes immediately after a conjugated verb. They were, to should, for there, to be able to, querer, to want to, and soler, to usually, 
are verbs which are commonly followed by an infinitive. They are sometimes referred to as modal verbs. Modal verbs need to be followed by another verb because they don't make much sense on their own. I repeat, what is an object of a verb? It is a fancy way of describing an infinitive that comes immediately after a conjugated verb. They bear, to should, for there, to be able to, querer, to want, and soler, to usually, are verbs which are commonly followed by an infinitive. They are sometimes referred to as modal verbs. Modal verbs need to be followed by another verb because they do not make much sense on their own. Let us illustrate this by some example. Debes pagar la multa. You should pay the fine. Debes pagar la multa. Or another example would be Puedo ir al baño? Can I go to the bathroom? Puedo ir al baño? Or another question we can ask using the infinitive would be ¿Quieres bailar conmigo? Do you want to dance with me? ¿Quieres bailar conmigo? Or another sentence would be ¿Suele mirar la televisión después de las clases? He usually watches television after school. ¿Suele mirar televisión después de las clases? Other verbs that are followed by infinitives are decidir, to decide, esperar, to hope, intentar, to try to, preferir, to prefer to, and saber, to know. Some examples are decidir, regresar, inmediatamente. I decided to return immediately. Decidí regresar inmediatamente. Elia espera viajar a Londres. She hopes to travel to London. Elia espera viajar a Londres. And the sentence that we would like to give over here would be Preferimos no tener tarea. We prefer not to have homework. Preferimos no tener tarea. When following a preposition, verbs should be left in the infinitive. Again, resist the urge to use the present participle like we do in English. So, when following a preposition or when coming after a preposition, verbs need to be left in the infinitive. This is a rule. Al llegar, entendí el problema. Upon arriving, I understood the problem. Siempre come antes de estudiar. He always eats before studying. Siempre come antes de estudiar. Or, Elia salió después de practicar. She left after practicing. Elia salió después de practicar. Using infinitives in special expressions. There are many special infinitive constructions in Spanish that use a bewildering variety of prepositions like a, de, en, and con. Some of them are somewhat logical. Others make no sense whatsoever. You'll be much better off by just memorizing which verb go in which category than trying to figure out why. I repeat, there are special infinitive constructions in Spanish that use a bewildering variety of prepositions. A, de, en, and con. Some of them are somewhat logical, others make no sense whatsoever. So, please memorize which verbs go in which category rather than trying to figure out why. So, let us find out the first category. Why do we need to put an A before the infinitive? We just do. Verbs commonly appearing in this category are Aprender, Ayudar, 
comenzar, empezar, enseñar, ir, and volver. I repeat, an A before this infinitive. The examples of the verb categories are aprender, ayudar, comenzar, empezar, enseñar, ir, and volver. Some examples in sentences would be aprendí a esquiar. I learned to ski. Aprendí a esquiar. Ella empezó a llorar. She began to cry. Ella empezó a llorar. Mi maestro me enseñó a hablar español. My teacher taught me to speak Spanish. Mi maestro me enseñó a hablar español. Voy a ir al partido mañana. I'm going to go to the game tomorrow. Voy a ir al partido mañana. Or, él volvió a leer el poema. He read the poem again. You may occasionally also hear expressions like a ver or a leer, meaning let's see or let's read. All that is happening here is that ir plus a plus infinitive expression has been shorted by removing the vowels. So it is a ver or a leer. So ir plus a plus infinitive has been shortened by removing the vamos. Why do we need to put a day before an infinitive? Well, we just do. Some verbs that form into this category are acabar, dejar, tratar, tratarse. I repeat, day before infinitive, the verbs that are of this category are acabar, dejar, tratar, tratarse. Some examples are Pero acaba de llegar. But I've just arrived. But I just got here. Pero acabo de llegar. Mateo dejo de leer. Mateo stopped reading. Mateo dejo de leer. Or Juana trata de ser muy amable. Juana try to be nicer. Juana trata de ser más amable. In another set, are the verbs plus n plus infinitive. Insistir and pensar are the main verbs in this category. Some examples of insistir and pensar would be Elia insiste en pintar. She insists on painting. Elia insiste en pintar. Or pienso en estudiar la ley. I'm thinking about studying law. Pienso and estudiar la ley. Another set would be the verbs plus con plus infinitive. Acabar, bastar, contar, and soñar are the verbs to worry about in this category. Acabar, bastar, contar, and soñar. Let us look at some sentences using these examples. No me basta con estudiar. Quince minutos. It's not enough for me to study 15 minutes. No me basta con estudiar quince minutos. Or, pues, cuenta con estar aburrido. Well, count on being bored. Pues, cuenta con estar aburrido. Or, sueño con viajar a una palia caribeña. I dream about traveling to Caribbean beach. Sueño con viajar a una playa caribeña. I dream about traveling to a Caribbean beach. La playa caribeña. Sueño con viajar. The verbs to remember here are tener and haber. Some examples of this are Tienes que seguir las reglas. You have to follow the rules. Tienes que seguir las reglas. Hay que estudiar. It is necessary to study. Or you've got to study. 
I yes to the I. You should conjugate your commands according to the subject, the person you are commanding. But it is not always possible. For example, if you hang a sign in a store with a command on it, you have no idea who is going to be reading it. Because of this, non-conjugative infinitive are often published as impersonal commands. So, usually the commands are according to the subject. We conjugate the according to the subject. But when it is not possible, for example, when you are hanging a sign in a store with a command, you have no idea who is going to be reading it. So, non-conjugated or unconjugated infinitives are often published as impersonal commands. Kansar say to become tired, to become weary. Kantar to sing. Karakterisar to characterize. Kargar to load, to burn. Kasar say to get married, to marry. Celebrar to celebrate. Senar to have supper, to eat supper. Sepilyar to brush. Serras to close, certificar to certificate or to register a letter or to attest, etc. Another set would be cocinar to cook, coger to seize, to take, to grab, to grasp, to catch, corregir to collect, colgar to hang, colocar to put on. Or to put on place. Comenzar to begin, to commence, to start. Comer to eat. Componer to compose. Comprar to buy, to purchase. Comprender to understand. Comenzar, comer, componer, comprar, and comprender. Conducir to read and etc. You can take a printout of all these verb lists from this section marked e-text and have a look at it. I move on to the next lot, which is like construir, to construct, to build. Contar, to count, to relate, to tell. Contener, to contain, to hold. Contestar, to answer or to reply. Continuar, to continue. In the same manner, contribuir, to contribute, convencer, to convince, convenir, to agree, to convene, convertir, to convert, convocar, to call together, to convene, or to convoke or summon, contribuir, convencer, convenir, convertir, and convocar. Another set would be corregir, to correct, Correr, to run, to race, to flow, and cortar, to cut, to cut off or to cut out, costar, to cost, crecer, to grow, creer, to believe, criar, to breed, to raise or to bring up, creer, cruzar, to cross, cubrir, to cover, cuidarse, to take care of oneself. Actif, creer, criar, cruzar, cubrir, cuidarse, etc. We can follow it up with other examples like cumplir, to fulfill, to keep a promise, to reach one's birthday, use with unused, etc. Dar, to give, deber, to owe, must, ought, decidir, to decide, decir, to say, to tell. I repeat, complete, to fulfill, to keep a promise, to reach one's birthday. Dar, to give. Deber, to owe, must, or ought. Decidir, to decide. Decir, to say, to tell. Declarar, to declare. Dedicar, say, to devote oneself. Defender, to defend. Dejar, to let, to permit. To allow, to leave. Delinquir, to be delinquent, to violate the law, to go against the law. Declarar, 
dedicarse, defender, dejar, delinquir. Demostrar, to demonstrate, to prove. Denunciar, to denounce. Defender, to defend. Derribar, to knock down. Overthrow, to tear down, to throw down. Desayunarse, to have breakfast or to, have, to breakfast. Demostrar, denunciar, defender. Derribar, desayunar, etc. Descansar, describir, descubrir, desear o desempeñar. Descansar is to rest. Describir is to describe. Descubrir is to discover. Desear is to desire, to wish or to want. Desempeñar is to play a part, to act a part or to discharge or perform or to take out a pawn. Hacer, to undo, to destroy, to take apart. Despedirse is to take leave off, to say goodbye or leave out. Despegar, to detach, to unglue, to unstuck, to take off, airplane. Desesperarse is to stretch oneself, to stretch one's arms and legs. Despertarse is to wake oneself up. Desechar, deshacer, despedirse, despegar, desesperarse, and despertarse. Destruir is to destroy. Desvertirse is to undress oneself, to get undressed. Detener is to stop someone or something, to detain. Detenerse is to stop oneself. Devolver is to return an object, to refund, to give back. I repeat, destruir, desvestirse, detener, detenerse, devolver, etc. Dibujar, to design, to draw, to sketch. Dirigir, to direct. Disculparse, to apologize, to excuse oneself. Discutir, to discuss. Dispensar, to excuse, to dispense, to distribute, to exempt. Dibujar, dirigir, disculparse, discutir, dispensar, etc. Distinguir, is to distinguish. Divertirse, is to have a very good time. To enjoy oneself. Divorciarse, is to get divorced or to be divorced. Doler is to ache, to pain, to hurt, to cause grief to someone, to cause regret. Dormir is to sleep. Distinguir, divertirse, divorciarse, doler and dormir. Ducharse, to take a shower or to shower oneself. Dudar, to doubt. Echar, to cast, to fling, to hurt, to pitch. To throw. Ejecutar, to execute, to carry out, to perform. Ejercer, to exercise, to practice a profession. Elegir, to elect, to select, to choose. Embeber, to soak in, to soak up, to suck in, to imbibe. Empezar, to begin, to start. Emplear, to employ, to use. Encender, to incite, to inflame, to kindle, to light. Elegir, embeber, empezar, emplear, and encender. Encerrar is to close, to lock up, to confine. Encontrar is to meet up, to encounter, to find. Enfadarse is to, to become angry. Enfermarse is to become sick, to fall sick, to become sick, to fall ill, or to become ill. Enojarse is to become angry, to get angry, to get cross. Encerrar, encontrar, enfadarse, enfermarse, enojarse, etc. Enseñar is to teach, to show, to point out. Entender is to understand.
entrar, to enter, to go in, to come in, entregar, to deliver, to hand over, to give, enunciar, to enunciate, to state, I repeat, enseñar, entender, entrar, entregar, enunciar, etc. Let us move on to another set of examples, which is enviar, to send, envolver, to wrap up, wrap up, equivocarse, to be mistaken, erguir, to raise, to stand up straight, errar, to err, to wander, to roam, or to miss. Enviar, envolver, equivocarse, erguir, and errar. So, to conclude, I would like to say that all we have learned about infinitives is quite a bit, but we have to couple it with various examples and of various verbs and how they function. Practice more to have a sound understanding of this topic and you will become perfect in Spanish. Thank you.